Hey there. Can you guess what it is? Well, yeah, obviously it's Lego, but more accurately, can you guess what it was? Okay, this was a Lego car of some sort that I basically rebuilt into the sections. You know, in a, into a completely different configuration, more or less. So it's basically a custom job, but with a slight difference. A lot of the parts basically all came from another set, so it's all got certain clues as to what set it came from, such as the wheels, the under bits and so on, the frontage, the actual bonnet section here, or hood. And, you know, all I've done is basically reconfigure, and there's still a ton of uh, bricks left over from this particular configuration, but just for the sake of it, just for the sheer hell of trying to do something a bit different and a bit, uh, you know, less obvious, so to speak, I've gone and made this little thing. It's a sort of little racing vehicle type stuff. Uh, type thing, type affair, and I, I quite like the look of it. It does stand to have some improvements. Uh, all of this is basically a lot of place holding uh, material for the time being until I can maybe revise it further and come up with a more, better, solid design that I like, uh, even more than what it is right now, but for the time being I quite like this. If you're wondering what it was, I'll post more details about the set and everything below. As for how it compares to, say, a standard Lego City vehicle. Yeah. Not something you could really go out in the street in, is it? Uh, yeah. It could do with uh, toning down just a little bit. But, you know, for, for what it is... Uh, for what it is, it's uh, quite good. It's obviously not on the scale of, say, the Batmobile. Uh, and it's not the same size overall. It's a lot sh smaller and shorter than uh, the original configuration was. In its original configuration, it was roughly big enough to have two minifigures sat in it, side by side, uh, so long as they weren't actually, you know, touching or anything like that, because it sort of would just push them to one side. So, as far as the realism went in that regard, it was kind of lacking, but in this case, you've just got a sort of, more sort of F1 racing car type look and feel, which I quite like the look of. Well. That's about it for this particular little drawing of uh, self-build, and I think I'll uh, just leave it there. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment below and tell me what you thought, because I am curious.